Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Day 27, November 18th. For this afternoon's hunt, I'm heading back to the redneck blind that's in a spot that I used to hunt all the time. It's one of my favorite spots on the whole farm. Uh, but this year, the trail cameras didn't show any shooters at this location. So for whatever reason, I mean, like I said, traditionally, it's been a very good spot. But we're gonna go back and check it out. It's been a long time since the camera's been running there. So something may have moved in. Uh, you know, the rut has a way of mixing these deer up. So we're gonna make a trip back in there, take a look and uh, enjoy the evening looking out the window of the redneck blind. I've got about an hour left in my hunt, and so far the only action that we've had was a doe and a really nice three-year-old buck on the other, other end of the plot. So this blind sits facing about a one-acre patch that's mostly planted to big and beastie. I planted this back during the oh, later part of the summer. The drought had taken out what I'd planted in here originally, which was soybeans. So we came back in and used the RTP Genesis drill and planted big and beastie in here. It did pretty good, but now the, the deer have been hitting it pretty hard. They've been eating a lot of this, whatever's grown up with the rains that we've had this late summer and early fall. The day turned out beautiful. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, hardly. And other than being pretty gusty, it's a nice, beautiful fall day. I'd say the wind is probably hitting 20 miles an hour at times here. Uh, I'm thinking that that buck, or that that doe rather, I'm thinking that that doe was in estrus because that buck kept coming out and then he'd feed for a few minutes and he'd go back into the brush and then he'd come back out again. So he wasn't leaving that spot. So I'm guessing that she was standing just inside there. So maybe that will bring another buck out before the evening is over with because if you get a hot doe, usually there's other bucks that are trying to find her too. So we'll, we'll show you whatever comes out here during this last hour. Not sure on my plan for tomorrow. I may try to get out tomorrow evening. Uh, we're gonna eat our Thanksgiving turkey tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna struggle. No, I'll never get out. I guarantee you I'm, I'm done for, for the weekend. So I will uh, get back with you again on Monday. So check back again, and uh, I'll have another one of these video blogs for you on Monday.
stay on the one behind the tree. Yeah. Probably a four-year-old. 